And a happy Sabbath. Welcome to Lifestyle 360. Let's wait a few. Let's see if anybody's going to come on first. Let's see if anybody's going to come on first. Good morning. Good morning. And happy Sabbath. Good morning. A happy Sabbath. Awesome. Welcome, Marlee. We are so late. Everybody's like, they must not be coming on today. <laughs> They're coming. They're coming. Make yeah. sure to... Um, if someone's open, liking us already. Hallelujah. <laughs> open up it to Worldwide. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Welcome. You know when we used to take our children to Sabbath school? There was a little Happy Sabbath song. What's that song? It was a little welcome, welcome song that they used to sing for the little children when they would go to Sabbath school. Mm -hmm. Good morning, everyone, and happy Sabbath. Welcome to Lifestyle 360, Michelle and Marlene. And we are so happy. So, Michelle, I was told this week that you say you're Marlene McKinney and you vacation, you live where I live where you vacation, but we don't know where you live. Me? <laughs> no, me. They said, we don't know where you live. live. <gasps> I'm surprised. So like, okay. So, I'm Marlene McKinney, and I live where you vacation, and today I am vacationing where you vacation. So I live in Nassau, Bahamas, but today I am in beautiful Eleuthera. And before our show is over, I'm going to take you outside so you can see the beautiful seas outside of our doors here in Eleuthera, Bahamas. So, Michelle, who are you? Happy Blackwood. I'm doing great. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Welcome to our live. And I also live where you vacation, and I live in Florida. <laughs> there we go. I'm in Florida. <laughs> there we go. Welcome. Well, thank you all for tuning in this morning. We want you to just tell us where you're watching us from. And we also want to know, um, also we would like to know, uh, if you can just do us a favor and share the live with your family and friends. Thank you. Share the live with your family and friends. And Michelle, go on over to your Facebook page right now and make it public because it Facebook is. has it private. It is, <laughs> yeah, it is. So, I just need yeah, a ticket. Facebook has it private. Well, Tell happy me. Sabbath each and every wow. one of you today. Indeed, what a blessing it is to be alive. And um, so we are grateful to be alive. I know I am happy to be alive. Oh. Happy to be here. I am on the island with, there are seven of us here. Beautiful. And we have, have had such a fantastic time so far. Yeah. So just enjoying every moment mm -hmm. and looking forward to today, but not looking forward to tomorrow when we think about <laughs> Not looking forward to tomorrow. But nevertheless, nevertheless, good morning. Good morning, my Facebook user. If you would just agree um, to ask Facebook to allow you to use your name, then mm. you, we would see your comments. Yeah, you yeah. just say agree. If you can just simply agree. I'm trying to find you. I, I'm thinking it's Sister Joan or it's Christy. It could be either one of the others. Either one of, okay, I found us. I found us. Okay, let's oh, see. Nice. For a while. Awesome. Eight persons watching on my show this morning there on Something Better Today. That's big. Hi, Aldith. That's Aldith. She says she's in Florida. Happy Sabbath, oh, watching from Florida. Nice. We have nice. Monique Sinatas. Hello, Monique. How you doing, my love? Please kiss your parents for me. Brother and sister Ramin, Miss Marjorie. Yes, please. Kiss your parents for me. Sister Marjorie, watching from the Bahamas. And oh, Monique is watching from Lakewood, Washington. Lakewood. She is a Bahamian that has relocated to Lakewood, Washington. Then mm -hmm. we have my doctor. Author and writer for some of our blogs, Saeed. Okay. Good morning, happy Sabbath. Happy it's Sabbath. Good morning here. Yes, yeah, Saeed is here. Thank you for sharing our live. We are so grateful. Today's program is quite an interesting one because um, we're going to be talking about juices. And yeah. um, so we thank you so much for tuning in. I'm trying to make sure my, my camera is balanced. And I want you to see the beautiful backdrop. It says beach and you know, it's beach. What I'm in. I'm blocking it. One says beach. Can you see that? Oh, can you oh, see nice. it? Oh, island life. Nothing like island, island life. And then the next one down the hall says beach. Nice. Beaching. You're beaching. I'm oh, trying to wow. Get wow. Get wow. Oh, welcome. Welcome. We have already 18, 18 participants. So please 
all eight of you, thank you for being here. Also, please, 19 now, share this live. We're excited to have you. And just please share. Sharing is caring. Okay, so let me share the live also on my phone to my um, audience. And then we're going to get started with today's program. Uh, thank you so much. Today, we're going to be talking about juicing, juices, the power of juice to heal your body. Listen, mm -hmm. you have cancer, diabetes, heart disease, cholesterol issues, high blood pressure, losing weight issues. What is your problem this morning? Skin care. You want to look better and cuter and cleaner and healthy? This show is just for you this morning. Don't go anywhere. Love that dial, like I always say, because we are getting ready for a full lifestyle 360. And by the time we have spun around, we will look a whole lot different and a whole lot healthier than we were before. So <laughs> stay with us. Michelle, go ahead. Yes. And then I, I wanna wanna say uh, condolences to Thelma. Yes. She lost her, her yes, aunt. Thelma. My sister friend Thelma, she lost her aunt yesterday. Her aunt, its aunt. name was um Roll. Let me give you the full name. Her name is um Dorothy Roll. She died yesterday. She had an aneurysm to the brain. So we just oh, want to say, Ooh. yeah. So we just want to give our condolences to Thelma. Thelma is my sister friend for about 23, four years now. And um, so I just wanted to do that to, to, you know, to let her know that we love her. We're praying yeah. for her. My heart ached. And as a matter of fact, Thelma, not mm. only are we praying for you, but the girl, my, my nieces who are on the trip with me, who I will introduce to you guys in a minute, um, if you'll stay, you got to stay in order to meet them. They're beautiful girls. They are my, they're my helpers. I'm yes. so glad they came with me. Amazing. Um, amazing, job. amazing, amazing job. If you would go over to my YouTube channel, you'll see some amazing videos. We have uploading all of the Island, how to eat vegan on the Island, how mm. to just enjoy life. It's just beautiful. And so they also send condolences to, yeah. to you, Thelma. They could not believe it because they go to the same church. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, they attend the same church. So when I told them in the car that she had died, they said, No, I just saw her last week. You know? Yeah, so Thelma, we love you. We love you. We love you. So right. sudden, you know? It's, you know, yeah. She was in the hospital. They were trying to airlift her, but mm. uh, unfortunately, they could mm. not. Um, yeah, they, it was, the time did not allow that they would get to airlift her to Miami, to, to um, one of the hospitals there. Sad, you know, my mom died from an aneurysm to the brain, so I can literally cry because it's yeah. so sad. It's, it's sad. Hard. It's, it's hard. a horrible thing. But you know what? I, I'm comforted that mm. my mom, um, and mm. I don't know if Thelma's aunt was the same because I know she went to see her and she got to visit with her. Yeah, my, my mom, I don't, I think initially she felt pain because she, she and mm. I were talking. She called to say I'm not feeling, my dad called to say she wasn't feeling good. And um, I could hear her groaning in the background. As she went into the ambulance, but um, it wasn't a long, drawn out, painful. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, mm -hmm. praise God, you know. Yeah. So that's that's the good thing about it. But nevertheless, you know, we miss our loved ones, and yeah, you know, we do. But yeah. I love Marlena. I must say, you remind me so much of your mom and what she stood for. So it's like you're a continuation of her, and uh, you always mention her too. You do things that now naturally, and then it reminds you of her. So yeah, yeah. good to yeah. see. So as parents, we need to make sure that we are passing on good traits to our children and, you know, good character traits. So it's beautiful to yeah. see what's happening in your life as well. The determination. Yeah, I, I, I want to, I want to, I'm living so I can see her again because I am convinced that she will be in heaven. So at yeah. this point in my life, at this age, you know what's most important yeah. just getting to heaven you know just getting there so i'm just hoping that god would just allow me to 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 live to see him come in the clouds and if not then you know i pray that the next face i see would be his so let's all live that we will yeah. see our loved ones again who have gone on you know uh, vanessa good morning and nadia good morning where are you watching from nadia where are you watching from vanessa how are you this morning vanessa colby one of my customers there in the Bahamas, my sister friend. Yes. So I just shared it with my group so now we can continue. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for joining us, and, everyone. And then I, later on in the program, I want to, I don't know if you should do it now. We are going to, um, 
Okay. We are going to do something special today. Oh, nice. uh, we're going to teach you a scripture hymn. Remember, every week we want to teach you a scripture hymn. Nadia, watching. Nadia, that's Nadia. <laughs> Nadia. Oh, Nadia, how are you? I'm saying Nadia because I'm thinking it's somebody from my Sierra Leone. Okay. Nadia is watching from NASA. Vanessa is watching also from the Bahamas. Thank you so, so much, guys, for watching this morning. Awesome. Thank you. Thank then you. we have a, a lady here on the island who can use some help. I met this beautiful lady yesterday, wow. and I, am, I would like you to see a video of her. Let me see if I can share it right quick. And see I'd like to do it. Uh -huh. I'm going to share right. right now so you can see her. Yeah. Um, trying to show her. Hold on. I know you. I can hear her. I can hear. Hold on. Oh, you know what? I'm some keep saying video file. It's not a video file. Hold on. Her parents were pioneers. Um, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. Her mother, the school is named after the mom. Hmm. Her mom was Joan Anderson and oh. Joan, sorry, Laura Anderson. Sorry. Yeah, yeah so there she goes. Can you see her? Yeah. We got to visit with her yesterday. From this moment forward, you're not going to be as lonely as you used to be. Oh, praise God. I prayed for that. You know, three times a day I pray. My I have increased I have increased my prayers. I have increased my um spiritual readings yes. And, yes. and the Bible and stuff like that. I've drawn more closer to the Lord these mm. days since Mama has died. Yeah. Mainly because I can't get to do anything. Yeah. I, I don't have a shop to open anymore. Yes. I can't go anywhere. So mm. I yeah, I try to learn. Yeah, right things can please can get on this job. Yeah. <laughs> her truck needs to be repaired and know, so her truck needs to be repaired i fell in love with her i told her i adopt you i'm gonna adopt you and i'm gonna check in with you from time to time nice. you know, my heart break for her because you know indeed the fact is that um when you're alone and if you don't understand being alone then you will never understand what she's going through if you've never experienced it you won't understand um what she's experiencing and so she's a beautiful lady. She's 80, even though she told me she was 60-something. <laughs> she's 80. And, um, yeah, so she's just, you know, looking for better days, wanting to get her truck repaired, needing the repairs on the roof of her shop repaired. And the money's not there. So I thought, why not appeal to my audience this morning to yeah. assist me in getting it done for her yes. so she can see that God truly loves her. And that he hears and answers prayers. And so I am just asking, I'm inviting you. Hi, Tanya. Mm -hmm. Tanya is Gail's sister who's on my on the trip with me. My mm -hmm. uh, girlfriends, my sister friends. We grew up together literally from childhood. Oh, <laughs> literally. Wow. Yeah. Good morning, Tanya. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. So I, I just thought I'd make that appeal this morning um, for her. Mm. Um, if there's anyone out there who would like to assist her. Um, and getting her roof repaired, uh, mm. even restocking of her shop, her supplies, so we can get it up and going again. And I told her I'm going to teach you some. I'm going to teach you some stuff. I'm going to teach you how to use your hands so that you can keep your brain intact. I yeah. said, you know, maybe I'll teach you some soap making. Something you got to do something to keep your brain going because if you sit there doing nothing all day, just worrying about the fact that you miss your children, you miss your parents, that's not good. You that's know, so. We'll bury her soon if that don't change. And so we don't want that to happen. So I'm appealing. That's my appeal this morning yeah. from my heart to yours. So if you can do anything, let's do it. And visit. Uh, and visit. Now, I did I did get to meet one of the natives here on the island. The, and, um, the police officer was passing as we were visiting. And he's a like, Seventh-day Adventist like myself. Nice. And he stopped and he says, I'm going to change that. We're going to help to visit you some more. I also saw Brother Peter Scavala. He says, we're going to visit her some more. I didn't nice. know. People just don't know. So it's good to share, you know. Oh, yeah. praise God. Yeah. I'm going to cry. Oh, bless Nadia you. says, I'll make a donation. Praise, you know, God. praise God. Praise God. Uh, Let's do it for her. I, my, I tell you, my heart broke. I was broken. Because, yeah. you know, I know what it is to be lonely. When you're going through a divorce and you've gone through 
the changes of life and your children are gone. Ooh. Hey, so I can just identify with her so, so much. So, so much. Good morning, Paula. Happy Sabbath. All right, we're going to teach you a scripture name. I hope I can sing after I'm going to cry for Miss, Miss Laura. Oh. Let's, sing, let's drink some lemon and water first. <laughs> let's clear our throat. Clear that throat. Yeah. All right. So we're teaching you a song this morning, A Merry Heart, Do Good Like a Medicine. Ah, where is it found? Um, hold on. It's found Proverbs chapter 15, verse 13, and Proverbs chapter 16, verse 24. Okay. okay. So let's see if we can sing that beautiful song. Yeah. Proverbs. All right. 15 verse 13. 15 verse 13. Proverbs 15 verse 13. And Proverbs 16 verse um, 34. I'm sorry. My phone's going off. Okay, let me just turn this down. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's go, Michelle. Yes. A merry heart. Do it good like a medicine. Is it too high? Let's go down. I, I don't know higher, no, just okay. see. It. Okay, let's go again. <laughs> a merry heart. Do it good like a medicine. Like a medicine is a merry heart, but a broken spirit drieth the bones. A merry heart to it good, to it good like a medicine. Let's do it again. I let Michelle go on her own, then I'll do it on my own. Like maybe don't because we're clashing. Go on, Michelle. Go on. Well, I've never sung on my own. Oh, um, very hard. Do it good like a medicine. Like a medicine is a very a merry heart, do it, do, do it good like a medicine. A <laughs> yeah. oh, merry heart, do it good, do it good like a medicine. A <laughs> oh, merry heart, do it good, do it good. Like a medicine. Amen. Let me show you. There's another bird. Pleasant words are as a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and help to the bones. Proverbs 16 24. A merry heart, do it good like a medicine, like a medicine is a merry heart, but a broken spirit drieth the bones. A merry heart, do it good, do it good like a medicine. Amen. I hope you guys learned that song this morning. Paula says we sung that every day on the bus to UT Pines uh, at UT Pines and in worship. Yes, I know you did. Praise God you did. Those scripture hymns, you know, they stick with us. We never forget them. I love them. I love how God just helps us to remember those scripture hymns. Yeah. Proverbs 15 and verse 13 and Proverbs 16, verse 34. Okay, so let's get into our health lecture for this morning before you guys go running off. <laughs> Good morning. Thanks, Tanya. It's a beautiful song. First time hearing it. Wow. You can oh. go to YouTube. Yes. Go on YouTube and just put in a merry heart to it good like a medicine. And um, it comes up because we can't do YouTube songs on here because then they will, they will, they will, they will not like that. 
So you have to put in a merry heart, the song, and it will come right up. I love scripture hymns, Tanya, because that's the way I think that it's so easy to remember the scriptures by him, you know. Tanya Bryce, good morning. Tanya, um, Heather McBride from Honduras, good morning. Happy Sabbath. Oh, She's sister. down there doing a mighty work down there, building yeah. a beautiful lifestyle center in Honduras. And there yeah. they use your support also. So I appeal for you there. If you have anybody out there who has the funds, they're trying to build a lifestyle center in Honduras. This is where God has sent me to Ilutra, and I want to do one here. And mm -hmm. I'm asking God to supply. Uh, being a missionary, you know, you don't have much funds, but we know the guy that has everything. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we know the man that owns the universe. And I'm just asking him if this is what his will is for my life, that he will allow me to be here um, one day soon. That I can help people from wherever in the world. But here in Ilutra, Michelle, it's one of our leading, unfortunately, it's one of the places where we have more cancer than any place else in the Bahamas. Yeah. <clears throat> and so I thought this was the place that God would want me to come. I knew that three and a half years ago. Good yeah. morning, Ravel, my sister friend from childhood. Look, at, I'm seeing all my fr childhood friends here this morning. Happy Sabbath. We grew up together in Nassau and at Bahamas Academy. We were good, good buddies like that <laughs> in school. All right, Lifestyle 360. Let's take off, Michelle. Let's see where we're going this morning. Let's see, let's see. Okay, um, we're going to talk about the benefits of juicy. So um, I know a lot of people probably have never juiced before. Just like we're not talking about drinking juice, bottled juice that has 10% juice or that you purchase uh, mainly from the store. We're talking about freshly squeeze juice that you prepare at home and so it's not the same they're totally different and we're going to go more into the benefits of drinking juice for healing and i know there's we're going to go on and then we can get a lot of discussions from it so let's get started amen let's go okay and if you've ever juiced before, let us know if you've ever drank this kind of juice I'm talking. Let us know in the comments below and what your favorite juice combinations are. Okay, so we're going to start with the history of juicing. And honestly, juicing is in the Bible because the Bible talks a lot about grape juice. So we would say juicing is from the beginning. So it's nothing new. Even though it's very trendy, um, it was very trendy in the 80s, the 90s, and, you know, but even the Japanese, they juiced a lot in their culture. So juicing is nothing new, and its benefits is, is just a lot of people have not juiced, so they don't know about the benefits. Yes, exactly, exactly. Good morning, Koya. Koya says she also needs some help. She's in Andros. I met her down there. That's my new sister friend. Janice, good morning, Miss Jan. Good morning. Yes, Koya says she also can use some help. So send it in. Let's see if we can get some help for you, sweet girl. Let's do it. So what is juicing? Yes. Uh, raw fruits and vegetables are used in juicing process. In the juicing procedure, the liquids, vitamins, and minerals from the fruits and vegetables extracted that they, can, they contain. Um... In this process, the solid matter of the fruit and vegetable is stripped away. It's on one side, leaving the juice on the other side. So if you have a juicer, you yeah. are not a blender. We're talking about juicers. Um, the juicer will put the, the fiber on one end and the juice on the other end. That's the way it works. Okay. Yeah. And so, awesome. And so that's what we're looking at this morning. We are trying to, yes, no problem. Yeah, we are trying to, to, to show you the difference between the two of them. That's one aspect of our show. We have some people said, I have notes all coming on my phone. People are sending, wanting to know, yes, they want to know what to juice for this and the next. So this is an interesting topic this morning. Um, yeah. Also about the juicing would be for me, um, I don't know, maybe it's in the next slide. So let me not go too fast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we the next slide. Okay, no, it's not. Okay, so in, when, when you think of juicing, yeah. I suppose you didn't have a juicer. I don't know if Michelle covered it because she's the one who did the PowerPoint. Oh, you is. did. Oh, you, you did. Okay, beautiful. Because if you blend, you want you can you know blend with water and strain it and all that kind of stuff. 
But when you juice, you get all the vitamins, the minerals, you get the potent antioxidants yes. and, and no fiber. And what happens? It gets into your bloodstream within just a few moments. Imagine yes. all that healing in just, just like water. It's just like drinking the water I have in my, in yes. my glass this morning. All right. So what are the benefits, Michelle, of juicing? Yes. So studies have shown that there are lower incidence of chronic disease from heart disease, diabetes, cancer, everything in people who drink a lot of juices. And even one large study showed a reduced risk of Alzheimer's disease. Yes. So as we get older, we need to start drinking. Exactly. Because among those who drank fruit and vegetables three or more times of, per week, there was an increase, I mean, or a decreased risk of Alzheimer's disease. Okay, so that's a big one, especially as we get it older. Yes, most definitely. Yes. Alzheimer's disease is truly a scary one for most of us. As we, I went to visit with my aunt last week, she didn't even know me and it made me cry because she would call yeah. me all the time on the yeah. phone. And she didn't even, she, she looked at me and her husband says, you know her. Now he didn't know exactly who I was, but he knew that I was family. That was yeah. big for me. But she was like looking at me like, hmm, just it's smiling. It's hard, Marlene, on the person who's lost their mind and the family members yes. as well. Yes. Ooh. yes. Ooh, that's, I think, is the hardest. Yes. Yes. Most definitely. Yeah. Ravel yeah. wants juices for menopause, perimenopause. We're going to get to that this morning. So it protects against disease by drinking green juice alone with healthy eating and exercise. You're able to rid the body of toxins. Imagine the phytochemicals in the juice can dissolve the free radicals within the body. Amen. And um, free radicals put people at greater risk for health problems later on. Alzheimer's risk decreased due to the high levels of polyphenols in the juices. Polyphenols are antioxidants found in plant foods that protect brain cells. See, they're only in plant foods and your body requires them. So that's a deep. Okay, so cardio supports cardiovascular system too. So it, they will lower blood pressure and also prevent heart disease. And a small body of research suggests that drinking pure fruit and vegetable juices can increase the blood levels of nitric oxide. And nitric oxide literally open up your, opens up your blood vessels. And these compounds help the blood vessels to remain healthy because they open, in, they open them and lower your blood pressure. And beet juice is one of the best ones for this. Amen. Amen. So it also resets your body by decreasing inflammation. A lot of us have inflammation throughout our bodies. Arthritis would be that form of inflammation. Uh, inflammation can come in lots of different forms other than arthritis. Yeah. Sorry, but anti-inflammatory properties of juicing can benefit people suffering from an inflammatory condition. You will also benefit from eating dark, leafy green vegetables, as well as fruits that contain high amounts of vitamin C. A diet high in nutrient-dense foods helps to fight inflammation, potentially, potentially lowering side effects. If your body needs resetting, Fresh fruit cleanses are the perfect way to go. Let's start fresh. today. Fresh, fresh, fresh fruits, okay? Fresh mm -hmm. fruits and fresh. vegetables. Yes. It's the best way to go. So, you know, we can go to the food store. We can buy the bottled ones. We don't know the, how long they've been there, Michelle. You know? No. Exactly. We don't know how long they've been there. The ideal. Say it again? They're not the ideal. Say no, the bottle. No, it's not. No, fresh it's not the fresh. ideal. Fresh the best. Exactly. Fresh press is best. Yes. Okay. Let's yes. do it. Fresh is best. So, um, yeah. Go ahead. No. Did you want me to continue? I already oh, sure. I have a question too. So, oh, there's a question. Let's, do you want to stop on the questions for I'm, a moment? I'm sure if you'll yes. come back to that. Yes. Do you want, is it covered in the program? It's kind of, it's just that later on, I said the only fruits that we recommend, you know, the yeah. apple and the pineapple. The pineapple. If you yeah. want to know, it's up to you. Yeah. Oh, okay. I hit my head, feet on the table. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so, it was such an impulse. I just said, oh. Um, oh yeah, we can talk about that now because Tanya may go on and run off to church. So, okay. yes, as Michelle said, we don't combine. You know, when you go to get to these juice bars, 
they give you a whole bunch of combination of juices and it's not good. It's not good. So the only fruits um, that we would recommend with vegetables would be the Granny Smith apple, Michelle, right? Yeah, the Granny Smith. And the pineapple, that's it. Um, citrus, that's it. Nothing else. So you could do lime and lemon or whatever, but and maybe grapefruit if you wanted to. The citrus family is fine because it's neutral, but you don't want to be um, combining sweet apples and what are the other stuff? Pears and uh, all just so grapes and whatever. No, you can't do that. There's a beautiful book that I bought, Michelle. I don't oh, have yeah? it with me. I forgot I'm not home. <laughs> it talks about enzymes. Oh, yeah. And how it has, you have different enzymes for yeah. different fruits and vegetables. And when you yeah. drink all of that together, what happens, Tanya, and anybody else that's listening, it creates a war in yeah. your system. And sure. so it, it, it leads to inflammation. <laughs> you know, we try and to get rid of inflammation. <laughs> yes. And, and yeah. ferment. And it, ferment it, fermentation. Yes, most definitely. Most definitely. Yeah. So, so hydrate. I, we talked about that already? No. I was just... Okay. Basically, we're saying that fruits, juices will hydrate the body. And you know the body is mostly water. Mm -hmm. And the fact also they have a high amount of fruits and vegetable juice have a high amount of antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds and all phytonutrients. You won't fi find this high amount in eating meat or, no. you know, animal products. So you need the fruit. They'll go in and they're actually healing and cleansing the body and that's what you want restore restoration so they'll fight those free radicals remove them and they are the most natural and quick way to fuel the body you know with natural and long lasting energy and if anybody who has done juicing you will know your energy is out the roof completely yeah. out the roof exactly. Exactly. natural high if mm -hmm. you not the coffee not the caffeinated beverages mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you never experience juicing to where you're at that high level, you need to do it because it's unbelievable. It's indescribable. You feel high like you're on drugs. It's true. I've never been on drugs. Yeah. <laughs> but that's, <laughs> only imagine that's what it feels like. You're so happy with the world and your body requires less sleep and yes. you're just slip smiling and all your problems seem to just go away. Because <laughs> those toxins are being released. It's the, it is the fastest way to heal the body. If you've never heard it before, you heard it here on Lifestyle 360. The fastest way to heal your body is to go yes. on a juice fast. Yes. And guess what? It's the most inexpensive way. Yes. You can do it at home safely for three days. And after the third day, we recommend that you get somebody to coach you along. You need somebody to be there with you because you don't want your blood sugars dropping too low. But I just say have a lot of prayer. You know, yeah. pray a lot, pray often, and God will see you through the fasting stage. I remember one time I went on a one-month juice fast. Me too. Um, I was praying for breakthroughs for my, my ministry. And yeah. on that occasion, that's when our prime minister just happened to show up at my door when we oh, had 300 wow. persons at our program. So, oh, wow. yeah, you know, yeah. God just, he just answered that prayer. But we don't have to fast and pray for him to answer. It's just some things you want, some things come by prayer and fasting. Amen. Um, so the question is asked, so no berries with the greens? No berries. No berries. No. No you berries can eat with the greens. berries at a later, you know, eat the berry berries. They're very good for you. You can eat them. And suppose you wanted to just you wanted to drink juices as a part of your everyday routine. Yeah. As a part of your everyday uh, program. You yeah. can drink the juice, but you want to wait 30 minutes before you eat your meal. Okay. At yeah. least 15 to 20, 30. Okay. 15, 20, 30 minutes before you. Yeah. It's yeah. going to digest so fast anyway. So, but you don't want it to interrupt because when you're chewing, it's more solid food. There could, if there's still juice in you, that could cause fermentation. So, you want to drink your juice, wait mm -hmm. 15 to 30 minutes better, then eat. But you're still within that meal in a yes. sense. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Beautiful. Was I supposed to do the other one? I mean, we never did it. Let me just go over it quickly. So fruits and vegetable juices, we did it basically, but it's okay. We did we did yeah. that. You're the next the next slide, Marley. Okay. So already covered that one. Yeah. All right, beautiful. So according to Stanford Healthcare, the minerals and vitamin content of one cup of carrot juice is about 
five cups of chopped carrots. Hmm. So I often tell people, good morning, Boniface. We're sorry I missed that. <laughs> yeah. I often tell people that if you want one eight ounce glass of juice, you need one pound of carrots. One hmm. pound equals to eight ounces. So they're saying here that you need at least in order to get what they said, the minerals and vitamin content, sorry, of one imagine? cup is what's in five cups of carrots. That's why you can't eat the amount in order to keep up with it. Because somebody called me the other day, they're like, well, I, I eat a lot of carrots. I said, sir, you can't eat the amount of carrots that you need. I'm very sorry to disappoint you. Anara or Vanna, come here for me, please. Sorry. You, yeah, so you can't eat all that. You, you can't. You just can't. It's impossible to eat the amount of carrots and vitamins and minerals. Plug in for me. Close your door. It's open. Especially yeah. when you're looking for healing. Lock it, lock it. Mm -hmm. If you're looking it, for, yes. for that, like if you have chronic or like say you have end stage disease. Yes. It's a matter of life and death. Yes. You don't even have the energy to eat that that five exactly. carrots. Exactly. We need your body needs assistance. Think exactly. about it. Quicker healing. And he has, so they both have their place. We're not saying don't eat fruits and vegetables. <laughs> we're saying they both have their place in your life and you know okay yeah you can't you can't eat the amount of because this guy he was calling me someone told him that i'm a um naturopathic uh, uh lifestyle coach yeah. and he just wanted to talk to me basically that's all he wanted he just wanted some confirmation on what he was doing he said oh. and he didn't confirm that he had cancer but he did say i need to do some more um, herbs and stuff. So I assumed he probably had prostate issues. So I said to him, I said, sir, you need lots of carrot juice. You need this and that. He said, oh, but I eat a lot of carrots. And I right. said, sir, you cannot get the minerals and vitamins from the carrots in eating it as you can do it from juicing. You just can't. But digestion, digestion time is drastically reduced and the nutrients enter the bloodstream within 15 minutes. Can you imagine within 15 minutes of drinking the juice, the healing starts? Absorption is boosted up by up to 68% when you drink your juices. Good morning, A. Smith. Good morning. How are you? Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Uh, Nadia says she never knew that. No, a lot of people don't realize that there's so much bad that we're doing. And we didn't know. You know, you can't, you kiss. Drink, eating it is not the same. It's just not the same. Ravel. Ravel says, I was doing it, but I was shaking and had to eat. Yeah, because, okay, how long does juicing adjust yeah. to your body. Okay, so you were just juicing right. and you were, you were, in other words, your question is, I guess, I'm gathering, Michelle, what you think? Yeah. And the question is, you were yeah, juicing. Going through the detox symptoms, which is normal. Yeah, it's it normal. It is kind of not, because your body is throwing so much toxins out. And more than likely, if you were to go for a, a day five, this mm -hmm. is what you need, that's why you need a system. That's why Marley, they say, you don't need to do it alone. No. Someone support no. you through it because when you get to day five you start becoming to feel high you'll still have a little some days low days high day, mm -hmm. depending on how much toxins are re released but as you go longer in the juice cleanse if you're doing say a fast you start feeling you don't even feel hungry anymore honestly exactly you you but eat. how much juice they want to drink in that day because i don't want to oh, feel Low, that, that jittery is meaning low blood sugar and low we don't want sugar, to have that yeah that's, that's low blood sugar too so that's yeah. that's concerning so you don't want to have too much of that because yes. low blood can be very dangerous you can end up you know i don't want to yeah. say it's dangerous it's just that it's not the best feeling in the world you get headaches and what have you so how much juice do you want her to drink so we can maintain that fast and so she don't have to end up eating something um to break that fast for the first for those three days that we are safely able to do it yeah so how much juice would you suggest or at least four eight ounces at, at least. least four and you can do more you can yeah. do more you can do you know, more because you're not, eating, you need, you're not, you're not eating any food yeah yeah and you're, you're not eating anything so drink drink and drink <laughs> okay just keep hydrated drink 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 yeah. and drink lots of water in the process that helps with the flushing yeah. out and the cleansing good morning again tanya says how long should you store juice before it is no longer effective good question that was asked in my class yesterday morning yeah. <laughs> yeah um, is it wait, what three days marlene and then freeze it you can freeze, freeze it freeze uh -huh. it is the best sometimes just freeze it because mm -hmm. then it stops the, you can freeze it and keep it in your freezer for long term so the best right. is, what, two to three two days you have to make sure when you add that juice 
to your jar, like usually preferably a glass jar or whatever mm -hmm. container you're using. Balls jars are nice, the glass Balls jars. jars. Are nice. mm -hmm. No air. You fill yeah. it up to the top so that reduces oxidization. However, right. what, two to three days? Or but then all, you don't want to take it too high because then the glass, it may crack. It will crack. Yeah, it will crack, yeah. yeah. So you have to have some space in there and, for, yeah. for that. Yeah. But True. yeah, and then what you can do, you can put saran wrap and then cover it. That's a good idea. Yeah, put saran and, wrap and then cover it. Especially when you're remember, freezing it. Uh, yeah. Say it again, when you're freezing it. When you're freezing, freezing it. it. That's when yeah. you want to leave that space for expansion. Yeah, because you know, I know it's difficult. Juicing is not the easiest thing in the world because you know, and not that it's not easy, it's just that <laughs> it takes a lot of time, you know. I'm, it I'm takes a, a lot of time. I huh? I don't enjoy the process of doing the it. process. The process is I oh, drink, wow, it's so every tedious. day I had someone doing it for me, but I I, I don't like the process. I'm exactly, mean. exactly. But like we say, Tanya and anybody else, Good. make it, make enough for a week yeah. and then or the three days the three days that we say you're safe and then freeze it in portions i've seen people do that all the time they put it yeah. in the little jars and they do it all the time yes yeah. it, she said yes it takes a lot of time for cleaning i'm coming to your comment yes it takes a lot of time worth another question so oh, worth it <laughs> i'm it's saying worth it. it's so worth it's it it's just it's worth it. you have to mentally prepare for it do it do the work ahead mm -hmm. do the planning and mm -hmm. you're fine because exactly. remember those days you're not cooking yeah yeah when you're drinking, exactly. so it, it'll be best to just to juice and put them in the freezer and then drink daily but you you have to think about it the days that you're juicing you're mm -hmm. not cooking yeah exactly so you're saving well <laughs> okay. hopefully you know it, it, it depends though that depends michelle if they have a family they're going to be cooking for the family so <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> happy sabbath angelique good morning happy sabbath my family from rwanda nice okay um, um i did a seven day raw juice fast monique anderson good morning i did that. not feel hungry at all oh, amen some people, yeah, yeah some people you know slide it's, through it it's a mind thing you know and the bodies too it depends on the body your body it's how much toxin you have too. yeah how yeah. much work? exactly yeah. marlene as you go back That's to say the days you're cooking for your family I find, and I don't know if you've experienced that, I make the best tasting meals the days when I'm fasting. So unfair. <laughs> <laughs> I think so too. Yeah, I think the so too. The sense of smell is heightened and everything. Yeah. And when you juice, you, everything looks brighter. Every, your smell, your taste bud is at its peak. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, if you can convince your spouse or your children to join you, that's good too. You know, yes. so if you can convince somebody else in the home to go along with you on the journey, it's not such a lonely journey. But the truth is that for me, like Monique says, the longer I went into it, the stronger I felt, the more energized I felt, the clearer my mind. And yes. I was like, wow, I think I could go for another month. <laughs> my, sister, my sister did it for a month or two and she lost 50 pounds in her time. Yeah. Literally, yeah. you know. Yeah. Hi, good morning. One to two pounds of weight lost a day. Yeah, of course. Now to sustain yeah. that weight loss, when you That's come off problem. of that weight, that yeah, That's yeah, you know, problem. yeah. <laughs> so if you're doing it for weight loss, it's not the best way. One uh, to two days is perfect. That's it. One to two days per week. Yeah. One to two days per week is perfect if you're doing it for weight loss. Because what it's yeah. going to do, it's going to reset. It's going to reset, reset your body. Okay, and so that's what you want to do. Happy Sabbath, LVs. Good morning and happy Sabbath. Are you back home, my dear? Are you back home? Yeah. Uh, Ravel said that's funny because we cook the best food, spend the on fasting. <laughs> and uh, Monique says, yes, you have to be mentally prepared and you have to plan. It takes a lot of planning. It does. It takes a lot of planning in order to do that. But juicing is fantastic. It's fantastic. Here we go. Uh, it allows your digestive. Is it you, Marlene, probably? Go ahead. It sounds matter. It so here's some beautiful carrot juice. I could drink some right now. <laughs> it allows juicing allows the digestive organs to rest. That's why I don't encourage even eating between meals. We need rest, just as we need sleep. I didn't sleep well last night, and mm -hmm. I can use some good sleep right now. We need sleep. Our organs need sleep the yeah. same way. It needs rest. Ninety nine percent of the juice is absorbed while eating. Does not reach half of of that for someone with excellent digestion. 
99%. Did you get uh -huh. that? Hold on. I got to say it again. 99% absorbed when half, what is it? How much, how much of, of the food is not digested? Eating regular food is only about half. Yeah, the half. In addition, during juicing, you do not, you do not have the energy expended to digest like when you eat your meals. All right. So your organs are resting while you're juicing. They're not as being overworked Tax. as much. Overtaxed, it's, it's just sad, you know. Yeah. And we have to eat, obviously. You know, we don't. I, we do not support a full raw diet of just juicing for the rest for of your life. No. Um, you can juice and eat, but you you yeah. don't want to do it for long times. Yes, go ahead, yeah. Michelle. So now it also helps the body to get the daily required amount of fruit and. Uh -huh. and you know, they always encourage you, you need to eat five fruits and vegetables a day. Yes. Five fruits and vegetables. Yes. Guess what, guys? It's not happening. People are not. Consumption of fruits and vegetables is associated with a lower risk of developing many chronic health conditions, such as we know diabetes and cardiovascular disease. However, while five or more servings of fruits and vegetables per day are recommended, only 50% of people in New York City consume two, two or more servings a day. So that's what the researchers are. People are not. And if you think about your life, people think, are you consuming five vegetable fruits and vegetables a day? Or mm. are you mostly eating cooked food? Most people just eat the cooked food or they might eat a little, uh, a, little a little serving there and there of fresh fruits and vegetables. It yeah. has been difficult to increase consumption because of practicality. Some people are so busy to a rush. They're not taking the time to eat it. It's inconvenience. However, think about the convenience of juicing. Think about how you can make it ahead and just grab and you you can quickly because it's already prepared. And, you know, so consuming fresh fruits and vegetables can help you achieve your goal because the amount of fruits or vegetables especially veg, the amount that you have in there you're not going to eat it at one sitting no. so if you're juicing you're getting your recommended and that's mm. why people juice they find that their arthritis pain go away they find that their weight loss their digestive issues go their body's getting time to heal and all those chronic illnesses are reversed because their body is getting time to heal and they pump nutrients into their body that goes awesome. directly in and do the work. Exactly. Fabulous. You know, there are two books I would recommend that I wish I did sell at my store and I don't have them. One is Make Your Juicer Your Drug Store. My mom would purchase that book, Michelle and Tanya and everybody else. She would purchase it and give it to everybody she knew. Aww. And I, I ordered it online just a few days ago. It's only $6.99. Make Your Juicer Your Drug Store. Another one for persons who may be suffering from cancer is, um, uh, I think it's called, I bought it at Yuchi Pines. It's called um, Juicing, uh, the juicing. Cancer, the Juicing oh, Cancer Cure, the Cancer Cure for Juice of Juicing, the Raw Something of Juice of Cancer. I can't remember the exact name. I'm going to see if I can find it online. But yeah. these are excellent material to have. But make your juicy a drugstore. Powerful information there. Powerful Thanks. information. Yeah. So Thanks. I have one, but I can't find it. Or... I will. I will. Thanks. More yes. benefits of juicing. <laughs> I guess More energy. Can... We covered it already, but say it again. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Yeah. You're energized, mental clarity, less stress, better sleep. I could use some. I tell you, I didn't sleep good last night. <laughs> Clear, glowing skin, uh, balances the pH, but the body's pH alkaline. Um, alkaline in the body increases, it just, you feel you're healthier. So then, you know, disease cannot thrive in a body that's, you know, alkaline, um, improved immune system. That's one of the biggest ones here for me, because I know that many persons who walk through my little store doors, they're like sick and they're like, I, I, I want to be healed. And I say, go into juicing, do some juices, thick, shiny hair and nails with child. I need some, because my poor hair is so thin. <laughs> Menopause has taken its toll. Um, uh ravel uh better digestion fewer headaches less joint pains and weight loss most definitely occurs yeah okay so fruits that are best for juice we talked about that um but we want to show why granny smith is actually better oh. than regular 
I Did forgot. You... We had a question. I oh, forgot. No. I forgot. Simone, good morning. My cousin Simone. How you doing, babes? How are you? How are you? I love you so much. Simone's question was, is juicing good for depression? Oh, good question. Hello. Excellent. Go on, Michelle. Take it away and then I'll wrap it up. <laughs> oh, wrap it up. Like I remember yeah. we talked about the natural high you get. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, yeah. Yes. You get a nat Simone, you get a natural high. I can't explain it. When yeah. you start juicing, because your mind becomes so clear. clear. Okay. All that toxin that was in your brain is gone. You have a clear mind. So yes, it's excellent for, for, for depression. In addition to that, if you can um, also add to that some probiotics and a coffee animal, listen to me, sweet girl. Depression, be gone. It's gone. You get your enema. I, I, I promise I was going to talk about the animal one day, but I don't even have my bag. You get your animal bag. You make some coffee, strong coffee, no milk, no sugar added. And you take that eight ounces, add some strong probiotics to that. Has to have at least one billion plus um, of the flora. You add that, and then of course you're doing juicing too. Depression be gone. It's a no. It's no joke. It works powerfully for depression. Yeah. Powerfully. Okay. Absolutely. Caffeine Absolutely. with the, with the, the glutathione. Drinking it. Hey, drink it this way does that work? Doesn't work. Don't drink it this way and work. It has right. to go to the other lips down below. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because the body releases glutathione, which just cleans that uh, liver yeah. and cleans it, like filters the blood of free radicals. So it's great stuff. Yes. And kills exactly. and kills that we talked about. It kills the yeast in the body. And sometimes, a lot of times, yeast is connected to depression. So there's yes. a lot going on. It's just cleaning the system up. Yes. Exactly. 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 Okay. Yeah. Um, so there's some more questions. A lot of good questions coming in. Okay, hold on. Let me put it up. Um, Ravel said she gained 20 pounds during menopause. Ravel, I have a weight loss program. I'd love you to be a part of that program. But yeah. I'll tell you this. Menopause plays tricks on our body. It's just so sad. Your hormones need to be balanced. You know, your hormones need to be balanced. I don't see the 20 pounds again on your pictures. You look fabulous to me. Um, but yeah when it comes to weight loss we'll tell you some juices that are great i don't know if michelle added it here for weight loss no, I didn't. I didn't. okay i'll take you there in a minute to my website um if you go to something better today but i'm going to actually show it on screen great juice for weight loss okay yeah. um so we'll show you that lemon <laughs> can't go wrong with lemon too but start with your lemon water and your ginger water make yeah. a very 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 strong tea of ginger and lemon no sugar added you can drink it in between your meals, but preferably first thing in the morning, a little warm, and you drink that every morning, and that will help us to cut back on our appetite. And it also helps with weight loss. It helps with weight loss, okay? And then not eating late at night. Not yeah. eating late at night. Are you eating late? Are you eating too late at night? Yeah, you know? So much more. Let me get, let's take all of Ravel's, and I'll go back to Simone says prayers. Yeah. Yes, Simone. Takes a lot of prayers, Simone. You, you know, depression is real. Depression is real. <clears throat> um, but it's but with faith and trust in divine power and you yeah. apply these principles healing must come because yeah. god promises to heal us he yeah. says i will put none of the diseases on you that i brought upon the egyptians because i am the lord and i heal thee so i believe in the power of prayer and i believe that god can and will wow. he will heal so let's start juicing today simone let's start doing it today let's do the enemas Let's get the person on a clean diet. Yes. You know, there's a clean diet. And um, if they don't want to become vegetarians, we have the clean diet, right? Yes. Where you don't eat all that um, high fatty foods like the, what you call it? The saturated fatty meats yeah. and stuff. The red meats, you know? Mm -hmm. Just get on that clean diet. Just a little fish, I guess. I don't, I don't support it necessarily, but I know, mm -hmm. the views, I, know I know that we break it out and people, we want our fish. And also, they need to try your tofu fish first before they, they do. Eat. You should try the tofu fish, and I have that on my website. It's so good. Matter of fact, my brother Paul says it tastes better than the store bought ones. The the, the, the vegan store bought one. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, it tastes really <laughs> that good. Is amazing. She, 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 she she's gained weight in her thighs yeah. and her tummy. I have reflux. We can deal with that. That's Don't go anywhere. Something going on there that gave that reflux gives you a, a lot, give us a lot of clues. 
in your, Amen. you know, so Marley yeah. needs to work with you one-on-one, -on -one, yeah. Marley. Yeah. Definitely. You need to talk more to Ravi. Con yeah. Ravi, contact Marlene and, you know, do a session. Yeah, with I'll, I'll do a session with you. I can do a Absolutely. session with you. You can get, I can share two testimonies. I wish that these girls were on this yes. morning and yes. I could have them come on this morning. I wish I could just reach out to them and say, can you please come on to me? I'm going to send one of them a note right now and ask her if she can come on and share with you guys her testimony. Um, yeah. Right quickly, I'm sending her a note because that's why it's good to be on. Hey, sister. I'm saying, hey, sister. Need you to share your testimony. Let me tell you something. Amen. And she may be getting ready for church. Mm. Hopefully. She Acid should. reflux. Yeah. She used to, she said, Marlene, I used to sleep on eight pillows. Mm -hmm. Eight pillows. Mm -hmm. Miss that. Eight yeah. pillows. And she said this. She said, I started your program and one week after I got rid of all the pillows, I can literally sleep without any pillow. That is one. That's probably that's my daughter came into the room. Let me see if that's her answering me. <laughs> She's like, happy Sabbath. She said, hey, sister girl, happy Sabbath. So she said, come. I don't need no pillow like that. Would you come on? Give her the link. If because we're in the you can now. send now. She said yes when I said now. Yes. I'm sending yes. a link. Send a link. Sending <laughs> link. Hey, thanks. I'm shouting. Thanks. Yeah, Let's send her the link. That's Let's see if she can come on. Let me share the link. Let me tell you something. God has a plan. He, he has knows. a healing program that works for each and every one of us. He and knows. so he wishes, like my dear sister and cousin says, above all things, above all things, he wishes that we would prosper. And oh no, she says, I'm at a funeral. Oh, girl, I'm at a funeral. I'm sending the link in the house. You may just come on later. We yeah. are here until 9 50. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. okay, but at least she answered. So yes. sad. All right. Um, but I wish I could remember the other young lady's name. I could send her a note. Um, I don't know if I, I can't remember. I'll, I'll try to remember the other one, but I'm telling you, okay. you know, I never know who all has these issues when they come into your program. They just, at the end, they should be, at, every Friday we share a testimony. Every Friday is testimony day. Yes. Okay. Oh. She can't because she's at the funeral, but that's okay. Um, every Friday we share testimony and then they open up and they share all the different things that were happening in their lives. And I'm like, wow, I said, it's, it's amazing because the program does not just work for weight loss. It's weight loss. It's clear mind. Yeah. It's energy. It's yeah. um, acid reflux. It's cancer, diabetes, oh, heart yeah. disease, cholesterol, yeah. high blood pressure. It's, it's, it's a compact program. And so every day for three months, once you join, you don't get the same lecture. I haven't gone back to the first lecture in weeks. Um, nope. that these new people, no, since Newton, there's so much information to share, Michelle. There's nope. so much. And so every Monday morning, after we finish exercising, what do we do? Cooking yeah. class, cooking, cooking class. Yeah, cooking. thank you, Ravel. Thank you, Ravi. Thank you so much. She says you're both doing such a good job. Keep praying for us as we continue to share, um, with the people, our audience. Can you, Tanya says, can a juice combination relieve the pain from a herniated disc? What are your options? That's what made my questions. What are your options otherwise? If you didn't juice, what else would you do? <laughs> Let's start from that. What are the options? Hmm. Tanya. <laughs> I would try it. Why like, not? Because what, what what are your options? What, what does it hurt to try though? What is gonna hurt? No, it's it's we, we just talked about all the benefits. So basically it, you exercise. Know, is an exercise. So we re we highly recommend exercise. So mm -hmm. so exercise. along with that, giving the body the tools to heal. So you're giving body as much tools as you possibly can. And we're saying juicing is one of them because it hydrates the body. Yes. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. It hydrates. Yeah. And heal, and it gives you all the phyto nutrients that your body requires yeah. healing mm -hmm. 
Okay. So this yeah, is walking like is good. Walking is good for it. Very good for it. Ravel yeah. says walking is good. Yeah. Thumbs mm -hmm. up, thumbs up. Nadia says, I'm willing to give it a try. Amen. Give it a try. Nice. Give it a try. You know, um, God wants us to be healed, man. He wants healing for each and every one of us. And so let's see what we can do to do our part. And let him do the rest. Absolutely. Let him do the rest. He's willing and he's able. All right. Beautiful. This will be a quick run through, Marlon. Just the different. Let's just go quickly down. Yeah, quick. Okay. You want well, to do this? Want to do the difference in the juicers? Well, I know it's just you know they just okay. maybe okay. it's important or maybe not. Just not right now. We'll come back at it. Because you know yeah. what, we need you to juice. The main thing is yeah. use what you have. Exactly. You can yeah. even use a blender, so you could run through those, Marley. Exactly. Yeah. They're yeah. We'll just, we'll just we'll just mass, Yeah. The next type and I blender. Okay. okay. So these are some of the cautions. I guess we're getting coming towards the end. Um, oh, wow. Simone says she's going to buy a juicer today. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Girl, listen, I pulled mine out of the closet, all the webs off, and I got the nicest <laughs> juicer in the world. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Thank you, girl. Thank you, only God. Okay, Amen. so caution. Go ahead, Michelle. Um, we're just saying that when you do, like, especially, say you're a diabetic and everything, you have to use mm -hmm. caution. And especially mm -hmm. if you're going to eat as well. Yeah. If you're going to eat as well, we're not talking about just juice, but when you have to be mindful that the juice in, say, a carrot juice versus carrot eating, it's going to be a little bit more. So you're going to have to be mindful of that. And you're mindful that it has less fiber. There's mm -hmm. no fiber mm -hmm. and that sugar. So with your overall consumption, when you are juicing, you don't need to eat as a lot. Yeah. You'll eat less. If you're eating, say you're going to do your juice, then you're going to eat. You don't really need to a lot mm -hmm. of food. Just be mm -hmm. mindful. Eat balanced mm -hmm. meal. And remember that juice lacks fiber. So yes. say, unless you're doing a juice flask, if you're not, when you drink the juice before you eat, make sure you're eating enough fiber for the day. Because there's exactly. a certain amount of fiber that you want to, is required for male and female. And you just want to still consume your fiber. Exactly. Other foods. Mm -hmm. Is that so just yeah. be mindful of that. I mean, For, I'm not talking about extreme mm -hmm. stuff, but still, I, I just was just trying to bright, bring it to your attention. But yeah. to be honest, Marlene, one thing uh -huh. I want to point out, mm -hmm. the sugar in that one cup of naturally pressed mm -hmm. fruit juice or even vegetables is far less than what they put in that soda or that. Oh, most definitely. So those yeah. juice in the bottle in the store, far less. I mean, mm -hmm. there are far more sugars in them. Mm -hmm. they, they, you can't even compare them than yeah. the one. And also, they, the scientists have not concluded. They can't say it's totally bad because when you so, see juice that is natural juice in its God-given form versus one that sugar is added, you cannot really lump them in one. They're not, they're not of the same. Mm -hmm. They're not of the same because the one that you freshly squeeze has enzymes, phytonutrients, thousands mm -hmm. that scientists don't even know what's in them. Just mm -hmm. thousands of flavor noise and polyphenols. They are healing on the system. So they're not the same of juice that says been pasteurized, added sugars to them. The body still, even though sugar is sugar, the body still has this healing power in natural juice because of the enzyme and the phytonutrients. They're mm -hmm. devoid because you have to remember enzymes. I know I'm running on. That's okay. I love it. Beautiful. Enzymes are protein and heat destroys protein. So when mm -hmm. you cook that juice versus, I mean, cook food or when it would, when versus say freshly squeezed juice with enzymes, enzymes are needed for the healing of the body. You won't find that in those bottled juice. Yes. As exactly. much. Amen. That's right. Um, powerful information, Michelle. Powerful information. I'm so glad to be. I'm so glad to be a part of a partner <laughs> in this whole. Yeah. Too, I want to. I want to share also on the fiber situation because you had brought that out. Fiber. How yeah. much fiber do you need per day? For I think for women it's 25. For yeah. For men it's 30 around there. But or if you're more. diabetic, diabetic, if you're diabetic, 55. you need 50. So you're something around that. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. 
25 to 50. 20, and yes. how do you get all of that in and not overeat? Yeah. I love my chia. You saw my video yesterday, how yeah. I ate yesterday in the morning. I had about probably 14 milligrams of fiber in my one glass of smoothie or, or whatever you wanted to call it. I didn't blend my chia, I just added it at the end. Um, and then you can do chia, you can do um, flax, flax, your flax. nuts, your seeds, you know, those things have to boost um, fiber intake. You can also, and, and, and not overeat, that's what I'm saying, because you're trying not to overeat. Yes. Um, in addition to the fact that you want to get in your nutrients. Joyce says, amen, Michelle. Amen. Oh. Good morning. I sent Miss Joyce her gift. She Joyce. got her soap. I don't know if she oh, tried wow. it. My children yeah, are looking yeah. for oh. reviews. Miss, yeah. Miss, for those of you, you who would like to get some of our soaps, um, I, I, I gifted her one. She came on our show, and we were so grateful for her answering the trivia question. And, yes. um, so I have Bimini soaps in New York if you'd like to get some of those soaps while you're living in the States. Um, chia is good in overnight. Emo yes, it is very good. Now we do not support overnight. We do not support overnight oatmeal unless it has been cooked. Yeah, oatmeal must be cooked. This is a big, big, big thing. You want to lose your memory? Yes. No, you don't. Right? You want to have acid? Re um, it tears up your, your digestion. Yeah, it tears up your digestion. Okay, so. It's too harsh. So please make sure that the oatmeal is cooked. If it's quick oats, it's 20 minutes. If it's rolled oats, it's 40 minutes. If it's, um, what's the other one? The steel cut. Maybe. Steel cut is a few hours. Sure. You yeah. Put it in your, yes, ma'am, put it in your crock pot and let it cook while you are sleeping. <laughs> okay? Thank Bravo. you very much. And then add your chia to your oats. And, and I mean, hey. Yes. Now I make a I make a I make a um uh I make a grain free cereal. It's on my my page somewhere there and I I, I don't add oats because I try to do the raw breakfast sometimes, most times, 99% yeah. times. So I add the chia as a pudding. I kind of mix it with my milk and I pretend it's oatmeal for me. It tastes really good. <laughs> All right. Nice. You haven't used your soap yet? Okay, no problem. Then you do. Yes. Um yes, Tanya, that's correct. That's correct. She said, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yes, that's true. Yeah. I learned that when I went to UG Pines about 22 years ago, Dr. <laughs> Agatha Flash said, do you want to lose your memory? I said, yeah. no. She said, what happens is indigestion of the yeah. uncooked grain, any grain. Brain. Any grain. Particles, she... yeah. Particles run throughout the, the bloodstream and lodges on the brain. brain. Lodges on the brain leading to dementia and confusion and memory loss later on in life. So, yes, ma'am. Marlene, years ago, too, when she came to Virginia, she literally showed the slides of the cadavers with the... Really? I would love it. In that the was, brain. I want that slide. I must call UG Pines and ask them to please give yes. me that slide. They will the do it, Michelle. We have, to, we have to reach out. I want to show the audience. Yeah. I, oh, really? I, and oats and yeah she showed yeah, it any uncooked grain any uncooked grain i mm -hmm. must get that slide please remind me to call you to find and get that slide it has to be a part of our program every time we do a program because people often say but i have my oats i remember walking into zed nest one day at our local problem. radio station and um i was doing, going there for a program and every time i go people would just say i'm doing better because they see me as the food police you know <laughs> <laughs> and so as i got there my friend she said Look what I'm eating. I'm eating oats. And she took out the container. She was eating oats. She said, that. I said, are you eating it like that? I said, no. I said, you're going to lose your memory. She said, what? <laughs> so she said, I can't do nothing right. I said, yes, you are. From now on, you cook it, then you eat. Then you will be doing it right. So Marley, sure uh -huh. I found that a lot of people eat those oats a lot like that, too. They have stomach issues. Probably yes. Blood. Yes. Oh, stomach pains. They later on, even if they didn't develop that, they'll develop and they become even more allergic to the gluten. They mm. become mm. wow, 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 wow. No, that's my that. observation. Yeah, that's not good. That's of not good. <laughs> yes, it does make you use the bathroom because <laughs> chia, the gravity says chia makes you use the bathroom. Yes, it will. Chia. 
has fiber and fiber that roughage that what you call that kind of soluble and insoluble fiber insoluble fiber it must go it gotta get out, get out. Right? but get here's it. the thing it's good increasing your fiber yes you get that increase your water if you don't you're in trouble yeah you'll be rock hard trying to get out of there it's true. you gotta drink your water but the beauty of it, when you think about insoluble fiber or you think about fiber when it's leaving the body it's pulling stuff from it toxins as, along with it it yeah. attaches to cholesterol it attaches to toxins and mm -hmm. remove them from the body so exactly. excellent stuff excellent, excellent. Mama, good morning. How are you doing this morning? Remind me where you're watching from. Mama joined us a few weeks ago. We met her on the yes. um, uh, what's the platform again? The platform is um, uh, the character building for eternity. Yeah, Heather. So she's yeah. a happy Sabbath. I don't like the juicing because it's too much work. <laughs> I can paraphrase, but I prefer using my my bullet. I okay. know. How do you I use know. your bullet though? How? Are you straining Thanks or are you food. drinking the pulp as well? If you're eating the fiber, you're not getting the full benefit. Mm -hmm. You get benefits, obviously, but not yeah. as much. All Just right? Sure. Not yeah. as much. Not as much. Good morning. Happy Sabbath from Facebook. Let's see who that is over here. <clears throat> Someone's name is not showing up on my, uh, maybe Michelle's. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't see that person here. No. Maybe Sister Williams as usual. You know, is our sister Veronica probably. Yeah, I don't know why this it doesn't show up all. Oh, hey, that's Lorna. Hi, good morning, Lorna. Lorna's watching from Atlanta. Yes. Atlanta. And then Miss Joyce said, yes, please get those slides so we can see them. Yeah, we will. I, I will put in for it. I'll call over to Uchi Pines. And you know the beauty of Uchi Pines? Let me tell you why I push Uchi Pines so much. You're Not that it. I don't push Wildwood. Don't get me wrong. But when yeah. I went to Uchi Pines, they were so giving. They're giving. They were so giving. Amen. And so I'm going to call over, reach out to see if we can get them. Maybe mm -hmm. um, the doctor that just who's tired and open up his own place, he may have the slides and he'll give it to us also. All right, let's quickly go because I might ride. It's going to come for me to go to church. I'm oh. in Eleuthera today, guys. I'm in Eleuthera today. And my ride's going to come for me in about 10, 15 minutes. And it's going to go, got to go to church. But I'm going to take you outside so you can see the water before we leave, okay? Phoebe says, happy Sabbath. I read that soaking the, soaking the oats is a form of processing. It's it's just as cooking is a form of processing. Sweet girl, that is such a lie. Uh, how could water? It rehydrates it, so it does make it softer, but it does not cook it to break down the complex carbohydrate to simple. Now, that slide I have, I don't have it on my computer, but I could show you. I can show you that next week Sabbath. I can show you that slide. I have that. How is adding water? It to shows you ten minutes in, twenty minutes in, thirty minutes in of the cooking. Process. But Marley, think about He's it. Laughing. <laughs> think about it. If you can do that to oats, that means you're telling us you can just soak your rice and eat it because it. You, you see, it doesn't make sense. You, that means you're saying soak the rice then, and then we can <laughs> soak the rice. No, no, no. So no, it just lessens. It does. I mean, soaking it, then cooking it will lessen the cooking time mm -hmm. in the sense that it re helps to rehydrate it faster. So when you mm -hmm. soak things, you soak your grains ahead of time. It just plumps it back up and makes it yeah. cook faster, but you still need to. It. it has to be cooked. It yeah. has to be cooked. It's a yeah. grain. It's yeah. war. Imagine it's taken away from some things you can eat. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I have it, a right? beautiful example. You remember when the um, disciples were walking through the oh. fields on the Sabbath? That's yes. a good one. Good one. What do you think they ate? Do you think they ate the corn right. that was hard I, and I they know. could hardly bite into it? Or yeah. do you think they ate the corn that was Milky and sweet Milky. Yeah. with the sugars. You you would not do well digesting that corn that's so harsh on your yeah. system. You won't. Oh. Your stomach gonna tear up. Tear up. Don't let me tell you something. It's sad. It is sad that so much false information is out there. Yeah. And do you know why I've been on the radio, Phoebe, and everyone yeah. else for 23 years? Yeah. 23 uninterrupted years for free. God yeah. has given me the platform. Do you know why? Because when I came to understanding this message, I said, oh, wow, everyone needs to know. Everyone needs to know. And I asked the Lord to open up the windows of heaven and pour me a blessing that I could share it for free as I received yeah. it for free. Beautiful. And that's why we're here this morning. We're not getting a dollar from this program. Michelle is not paid. I'm not paid. No. We are sharing because we have a real, 
earnest desire to share with you the truth of the matter. That is why she finds in Wildwood and Dr. Luke and all the others are sharing. And Heather, that's why we share. There's so much false information out there. We've got to get the truth out. It's very important. Let's quickly go to the next. Uh -huh, go ahead. Good morning. Try the diet and then they get discouraged because they're not doing it pro properly. They learned yeah. it incorrectly. If your yeah. stomach is going to hurt, you're going to like forget this. Uh, you know, yeah. you're going to feel worse than you were probably before. Exactly. 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 Some good exactly. comments. That's coming beautiful, in. Chanel. Happy to have you. Some beautiful comments. Let's go to them quickly, even if you have to finish the program next week. Good morning from yeah. South Africa. South Africa. Beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Thank yeah, you for I mean, watching from South Africa. Beautiful. You know wow. Delami? No, but beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. I do have thank another you. large South African. Thank one. you for watching and thank you for sharing our live with your friends and family. We have about 15 more minutes and then we're gonna have to I'll say bye. Um Fortash says, Good morning, enjoy my island. Are you from Eluso Babes? <laughs> Is that where you for one tash? Are you from 41 Tash? Is that how you say it? Are you from, um, from Eluso? It's beautiful down here. You got some property you want to gift our ministry? We are accepting gifts this morning. Yes, we are. I want to come down here and help the people of anywhere, but definitely people will lose it. I was told to toast them as soon as you bring them home. Yes, very good. Because you're dextrinizing it and softening the grain. So you could toast them and it will cut down on the cooking time. So toast it in a dry pan or even baking it in the oven. Like their oats, it's best to just bake your oats um for a while on a low flame so it slowly breaks down like you're making if you notice if you make granola and you do it like say for 30 minutes or say you did it for 45 minutes or an hour you find if you slowly do it overnight on the lowest heat on your oven you'll get a softer grain the next morning better on digestion so dextrinize amen. good amen for 41 says, yes, she's from James Sister. I'm going to church at James oh, Sister nice. today. Is that where you're going, Marley? So, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. nice. I'm doing the health nugget today at James Sister. Haven't nice. made my mind fully yet. What I'm going to be sharing is so much information. You know, you're praying. I'm always praying, Lord, would you, what would you have me to share? Nice. So, pray for me as I go. And Tanya says, thank you so much for sharing this information on the Oaks. It was very insightful. Thank you for watching and thank you for sharing. Keep on sharing, keep on sharing, keep on sharing. Oh, lack of fiber and protein. There is a risk of malnutrition from simply drinking juices as all juices, even vegetable juices, lack fiber or protein. The fiber in the diet helps keep our digestive system healthy while protein is essential for muscle, bones, and blood. Don't drink only juices for several months. We do like not long -term, just long-term. Don't go long-term. Eventually... No. You know, that would be. We good. do not support that. that. God does not support that. He says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord he is good. Lord is you good. know, so yeah, we not, we, he doesn't support that. Well, we need so to chew just, our juices too, Marley. Forgot to uh, tell you. Oh, yeah. Forgot to tell uh, you to chew the juices too. Yes. While you you're chew, just don't you gulp chew. down. Chew, mm -hmm. chew. Chew. Okay, give me your full name, Tash. Oh, Tasha. Tasha says hello. Good morning. <laughs> Tasha says hello. Okay, I, our slideshow just came to an end, but I'm going to take you quickly yes. to something better today. I just opened up that page. I just posted very early this morning, eight juices, eight juice recipes for better health. Um, yes. I thank um, doctor, my doctor for helping with that article. Um, I have a doctor literally writing articles on these juices. Yes. So I'm not just writing it, okay? I have a doctor on staff who writes articles and when he writes, he writes with research because you know, he's a, he's a, he's a medical doctor and he has to prove that what we are sharing to the world actually is true because he believes that it has to be proven. So what I'm about to share with you, he did lots of research. Um, thank you so much, sister Joyce. Honestly, I do need that prayer this morning. Let me share with you what he and I put together. Um, share screen. All right. I'm so grateful to have assistance. And if you'd like to donate to our ministry to help us to, to hire these writers, because I mean, it takes money to hire the writers. Um, I would more than like be happy to accept your donations in that regard. Um, he lives in, where are my writers? In Pakistan? I, I, I mean, in Pakistan. Yeah. So he wrote an article. I helped him to put these juices together. Eight juice recipes. 
for better health. It, I don't know if this is the one I wanted to go on. Hmm. Actually, do I want do you want to do the recipes or do you want each individual like a, the cabbage, what it's good for, the beet, what it's good for? Uh, yeah, maybe just give them some recipe combination. Okay, great. So Here's best it. juice for diabetes. Here is the best juice for diabetes. He says, and I know you probably can't see the screen as well, but I'll still share it. The standard view about diabet about diabetics is that they must avoid juices. Remember, we were talking about that just now, right? Remember? Yeah. Remember that? But the reality is, this is according to Dr. I, I, <laughs> Saeed. Saeed Khalid. He says, sorry. He said, the reality is far more different from that. People with diabetes only need to avoid fruit juices with high sugar content. Yep. In contrast, fresh vegetable juices have a low glycemic index and are suitable for people with type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Juicing mm -hmm. is a straightforward process that even doesn't require a proper recipe. So here's the recipe that he has put together for us. Look at that beautiful juice. So it look great. Mm -hmm. He says carrot, green Granny Smith apples, string beans, bitter mm -hmm. melon, and Delicious. ginger. Now, Pop. I added some there. He took, I, I added some. He had lemon in there. So you may see here, you may talk about it. He says, it is an incredible healthy juice that has a carrot base. Its base helps to thoroughly mix the ingredients like the apples, the lemons, the ginger, the bitter melon. Mo most remarkably, ginger has an active ingredient known to have positive effects on blood sugar levels and diabetes. Isn't that beautiful to know? Mm -hmm. However, this juice is also best for your health of your gut your immune system, and your cardiovascular system. Okay. May I share something also on the string beans and the bitter melon? Yeah, no, both those are powers for diabetes. Yeah. Listen, string oh. beans, actually, string beans, literally, if you're type 2 diabetic, string yeah. beans will actually bring your pancreas back to life. Yep. It rejuvenates oh. the pancreas. Okay? And the bitter melon will lower that blood sugar. Because it's bitter, you only need this much. You see my finger? This much. Just a, just it's a shot very glass. Good. It's very potent. Very Ceres potent. Now, it's the same as Cerisy, Marley. We need people to same know. Same as Cerisy. So you don't have to go to the food store and buy bitter melon. Just get some Cerisy. All right? Now, as a caution for protecting for myself and Michelle. Yes. If you're diabetic and yes. you start doing this juicing, please, please remember yes. you must constantly be checking your blood sugar levels. All and day. Your doctor, please, your doctor. please and let your, and consult your physician for anything we share on this program. Amen. Please consult your physician before you make any changes to your diet yeah. and lifestyle, because we need him to. We need your doctor, him or her, to at least agree that it's okay to do it. Yes. Okay? So remember that. What about the best juices for high blood pressure? High blood pressure. <laughs> There's the ingredients. He says. His ingredient, he said, okay, good. Look at that. That's our juice. Look at it, beautiful. Beetroot, so cucumber, good. apple, lemon, and ginger. Good for what? Lord. Blood pressure. And also here are the celery. benefits. So celery. And celery. So he didn't Arthur. add the celery, and I said, Aid, you didn't add the celery. I told you to add celery. So, you know, we, we go back and forth. But celery is my number one juice. Me too. Celery is my number one juice, and it brings it down rapidly. Yes. Rapidly. And yes. you know what else is great? I know you may not do this, but it works. A uh, garlic enema. <laughs> okay? A garlic enema. You can go here and read the notes on the benefits and, and, the, and, the, and the rationale behind it. He has all the notes to go with it on why. You know, the nitric oxides. You can go to something better today and read those articles. Please do that. The best juice for weight loss. Hoo, 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 hoo. Right? All of us want to lose some weight. Here is the combination that he has brought to us. Cucumber. Yum. Lemon. Yum. Celery. Yes. Spinach. Romaine lettuce and some watercress. That's good. Blend those. Juice them. Not blend them. Juice them. The health benefits are great for weight loss. And of course, like I said, you can go and read the notes and our time is going. Best juice for a healthy gut. Ah, gut issues can lead to mm. poor digestion and poor absorption of nutrients in the blood, resulting in nutrient deficiency. In addition, nutrient deficiency can damage the body through its harmful effects on various organs. Had to read that. 
Therefore, a healthy gut is a supreme requirement for overall improvement of overall health. We got to get our gut healthy. Yes. Ingredients, carrots. He loves carrots. <laughs> carrots, oranges. I wouldn't put the, yeah. Carrots, oh. oranges, Granny Smith apples, lemon, ginger, turmeric, coconut Simple. water, and celery. That's a lot. You yeah, that's what it is. Uh, simplify. Told, yeah, simplify it. You know, I, 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 I told him I would simplify it. I know he's listening. Coconut water. Simplify it. You could do the coconut. You could leave the coconut water out. Yeah. You would leave the coconut water out. And of course, yeah, just a pinch hard. of ginger, a pinch of turmeric. So you know, it's not a whole oh, lot there. And the carrot, I like. Yeah. The carrot, yeah. the turmeric, the ginger. Okay. Um, you know, that's pretty good combination right there. All good right. for your skin. That will give you glowing, pretty skin too. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Hey, that will just glow. I like to read this on the carrot. Look at what he said about the carrot and how it helps the gut wall. He says, carrot is one of the main active ingredients in this particular juice. It contains a specific polysaccharide known to stimulate the growth of the gut wall, promising you a healthy gut. Moreover, the carrot base also helps keep all the ingredients together over offering a high quality juice that is no match. Amen. Ingredients like celery and ginger remove the toxins from the gut and stimulate cellular growth. Amen. Listen, this guy's mm. preaching for us this morning. <laughs> All right. The best juice for inflammation. Who has inflammation? I got it in my fingers, man. Overuse of this cell phone. <laughs> That's really what it is. Get rid of the cell phone. You get rid of the inflammation, Marlene. Bam. Simple. Hire these young ladies to do the cell phone for you. You know, do you know there's a lady... She's a reality star. What's her name? Anybody can remember her name in here? She's married to uh, the, uh, the actor. What's the reality star name? She had to hire someone to do the texting of her phone because her fingers became so inflamed. Mm. From and I'm texting all day because my mm. phone is my business, unfortunately. So mm. my fingers, some of them, they wake up very inflamed. I can't remember her name, but she's a well-known reality star. Her, her mom, her sisters, everybody. Somebody's yeah. going to give me that name very soon. Shelly's watching. She'll give me that name. <laughs> inflammation. The juices for inflammation, chronic inflammation. Uh, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> sorry. Um, the ingredients are my favorite, pineapple. I'm in Pineapple City today. Hello. <laughs> pineapple, uh, cucumbers and celery, ginger, green apples, and lemon. The mm. benefits, he says, whenever you are looking for a fresh juice, always go for the ingredients low in sugar such yeah. as the celery and the cucumbers, he says. Yeah. They help to hydrate your body without adding too many calories to your diet. Also, according to scientific literature, listen, pineapple is a natural anti-inflammatory fruit. Therefore, this juice contains pineapple as one of the active ingredients. Ginger also is an antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, great for arthritis. So I'm going to have some today. Anti-inflammatory fruits, also find its use in athletes. Athletes can consume these juices to alleviate muscle pain and after an intense workout. So there goes, that's your juice. What about if you're pregnant? I don't know if any of us here are pregnant. I know I can't get pregnant. Hallelujah, Jesus. That's the best thing in the world. <laughs> I, hey, Michelle. Never, never, never. Never, <laughs> never, ever. Hold on, we have a lot of comments on Facebook I'm missing. Oh, nice. Never, ever, ever, <laughs> ever, ever, ever. Oh, Hallelujah, boy. never. Oh, <laughs> they were burnt. <laughs> they were burnt at the cross. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> um, so never, never. I tell myself, you know, hey, Michelle, when I get married again, it'll be all fun. Hallelujah. <laughs> Me up to <laughs> so the best juice is with those of you who want to get pregnant. You know, there are a lot of girls out there on a very serious note who can't get pregnant yeah. or have difficulties. And, you know, we had Dr. Taz on our show. We we're going to have her back very, very soon. Yeah. I want her to come back. I know she's listening because she's on this morning. And he, yeah. You know, she has a powerful testimony. Michelle, let me tell you a testimony out of that book. I read the, the four of the, you need to get a book. If someone could grab Dr. Taz's book and Michelle can find her, you got to get the book. Talk about faith. You go to go to get, trying to get pregnant? This is the juice. Oh, no, no. That's not, that's not this one. That's this really is That's for the She days. bought a blanket, bought a blanket, took it to a pastor to pray over the blanket, knowing that God would bless her wombs. Hallelujah. Yeah. Now, nah, listen here. And God blessed her with three babies. So, three. Three juice, 
What's Let's... the juice? Huh? Oh, sour sap. So what are Beetroot, you? ginger, lemon, water. Oh, I need to use a little salt and sugar as per your yeah. That's actually my favorite juice, Marley. I just really? love the lemon. Oh, wow. Listen to what he says. Pregnancy increases. Uh, go on. Go on. Oh, no, go ahead. I love it. He yeah. says, pregnancy increases the risk of several health problems, and maternal hypertension is one of those problems. Pregnancy-induced hypertension, I had it with Celine, I had it with my baby, has mm. a tremendous in in incidence rate of 10 to 13%, significantly increasing the risk of mortality for both mother and child. We know so many people who have, it happens to happen to them, okay? So drinking yeah. this juice can actually help. That's all we wanted to say. Last juice, and then we're going to let Michelle share. Best juice wow. for a better and healthy glowing skin. I'm going to drink some when I go home tomorrow. Woohoo! <laughs> Apples, beets, carrots. Now there's a lot of juice, Dr. Dr. Arie, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> my good doctor. That's too much juices in there. You you pick pick, pick out three or four of them. Pick out three or four of them and just juice it for glowing skin. Yeah, I would they, definitely go with the cilantro. The carrot. That's a good, the carrot. Carrot works like a charm. Your skin will glow. You will look orange like the carrot. You'll be beautiful yeah. and glowing. <laughs> <laughs> okay cucumbers is always a good thing and of and course beets. I love beets. health benefits and he says the apples are essential for adding taste to your juice but i want to know about the um he says listen to this he says that as discussed beets contain nitrates which dilate blood vessels and help direct more blood to the skin i need some beet juice today yeah. no more no more looking all in the neck because i lost so much weight High blood to the skin flourishes and skin cells a new life. Give skins a new life. New life. New life. That's what we want. New life today. Vitamin A is the best nutrient for the skin and yes. skin growth. And it comes, of course, from the what? The carrot. Carrots. We know that. Okay. So and leafy greens. Leafy greens are high. Oh, shucks. I have another one. I forgot we had A juices. Juice for energy. How many of us are lacking energy? My friend Gail asked, Marlene, I don't know where you get all this energy from. <laughs> I don't know. I can't explain it. In the mornings, I'd be jumping around like I'm a 16-year-old. I cannot explain it. It only could be the goodness of God. That's Man. all I can say. Carrots yeah. and spinach, apples and celery with some orange gives us lots of energy. So if yeah. you're lacking energy today, go on to something juice. better and get those juice recipes juice. from our program. The books, again, are... <laughs> the names of the books are... Someone asked for the names of the book. Yeah. Make your juicer. Uh oh. Make your juicer your drugstore. You ever had it, Michelle? No, I have a ton of juice books, but that, I don't have that one. It's a very small book. It's a yeah. very small book. My mom, I, I so became, I so became my mom. That's just weird. Mm -hmm. I so became my mother. She would buy them and give them away because it was yeah. so inexpensive. And um, you can even go on and buy them used and just give them away also. Yeah, you go know? to the thrift store. You'll see yeah. a ton of books. That may be my life saying the outside. Um, yeah, that's or Say it again. A lot of books, good books are at thrift stores. Yeah, too. I went to a thrift store. As a matter of fact, I was supposed to give a shout out. Um, that was the magic word. A shout out to to um, Stacy in the thrift store there at the Humane Society. I went there and they have awesome books in there. I bought a huge book on juicing for like three, four dollars. And um, so Stacey at, at the thrift store, whenever you have books on health, call Marlene. I'm coming to get them. And if you have one or two, I buy them all so I can know people so we can all be healthy together. Make your juicer your drugstore. That's the name. Where does one find sour soap locally? Okay, Miss Harris, where do you live? That's good. That's a good question. The first question. Where are you living? Because if you live in the Bahamas, it's, it should be there, I I draw. You're gonna see a video that I uploaded today, so go to my YouTube channel, subscribe, like, share, and comment. I'm uploading a video today, Michelle. We were yeah. there in. A, so we went to Spanish Wells. I'm in Luther, but I went to Spanish Wells, and then from Spanish Wells, you take a bridge to Russell Island, another island attached. Oh, like and there, there were fruit trees all along. There were gardens and farms. That's, that's Man, what we, was, we were. We were. We were borrowing all the fruit. <laughs> 
Oh, that's amazing. We were, we were, we were given permission. We were given permission um, to that. get some of the fruit. So I literally, what did literally, you get? What did you get? Let us know. Sugar apples. I could go and get them, but they're on the table. I got sugar oh. apples. And we got avocados. And I'm guess what? Food. Reached out and picked a sugar apple, and it was ripe. And I didn't eat it. I gave it away. I gave it to, oh. I have a cousin on the trip. My cousins, Dwayne and, and um, Burton and Carol, their mom and dad are on the trip. And I said, here, Mrs. Wallace, it's for you. And I gave it to her. She said, oh, thank you. You know, so she was really happy for that. And I mean, it was so ripe. It was about to drop off the tree. So creamy. I know that some of ours are probably ripe. Guys, can you come and reach me some of our sugar apples? And then we got bread from the local baker there. Getting so. some of those stuff. That, you know that our ride's going to be here in two seconds, right? Y'all do, <laughs> do know that, right? Well, you want to you talk to my group. Come on, now. I want to introduce you guys to my people. This she brought one lone sugar apple. One, one. Well, look at her now. Beautiful one look at lone that. sugar apple. Oh, delicious. Any more sugar Ooh, apples? Extreme. Come on, come and meet my group. Come and meet our people. Come. They hit the wave. Hi. Come on, come. Hi. That's, Hi. that's Ivana. Wow, Ivana. Look, look at this. Look at this. All locally grown. <laughs> nice. Sugar What's apples. So you know what I'm going to have this morning, right, guys? Nature's candy, Marley. Do you know why God put seeds in them? <laughs> Do you know why God put seeds in them? <laughs> Tell <Huh>? us, please. <laughs> because we would eat all, and that's a high glycemic index fruit. Yeah, it so is. So he said, listen, I can save them. Because if <laughs> I give them all, if I don't put seeds, they can eat all up, and they're going to be killing themselves. So this is my... my um tech girl she has the name mr warren gave it a name of what uh, I forgot. he gave a whole engineer come come down they can't see you she's, she's really okay. amazing. keep up the good work she Here's is it. my engineer she's on staff let me tell you something she's making sure that the videos are properly done i can't say nothing else unless it's right <laughs> i can go to say that is that nope 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 then we got fresh baked bread from what was her name Kathy's Kitchen, and we have a video coming out on that today. Kathy is an older lady. She's been baking for 20 years, and wow. she lives on... Yeah, I'm having a fabulous time down here, guys. Let me tell you something. If I could find someone who will take me, and I may just stay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. I'll just stay. Right. So where do you find sugar apples? No, I don't sell... Do you know who sells them? Okay, so Soursop Harris, Kelly. Yeah. Um, Soursop, Soursop. You could go to the farmer's market. Yeah. There's the farmer's market on Gladstone Road. Um, where else can you get? What else can you get? Where, where else can she get salsa? I, my neighbor has a salsa tree. I get mine from my neighbor. Maybe if you yeah. do. People. They don't sell it in the food store. It's not in the grocery store. You won't find salsa in the grocery oh, store. Not in the mar market store. Market. It has to be like a farmer's market. Or yeah. guess what? Guess what? I can save you, girl. You go to Gladstone, not Gladstone, Cowpen Road. Cowpen Road. I have a video where I went on Cowpen Road to the Haitian community. And you'll find all nice. and sundry, all the natural fruits and vegetables grown on the island right there. There's a Haitian, all the Haitians are lined up out there selling their fruits and vegetables. Yes. I'll, nice. I'll do another video of that um, when I get back home. Beautiful. I mean, they're set up on their stalls. That's the best way. You get all the, you get the, um, what's it called? The, uh, I want to take you guys outside. Dilly. <laughs> oh, you're breaking up. Oh, you or it's me. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> you're better, you're better. Yeah, I unplugged. I want to take them outside so they can okay, see. That's why. Outside. She said she, be close. Yeah, Kelly's been she's there. She's been there. That's so, good. This is the yeah, view. This, you know, there's, a, there's a show that's called The View. Now, I hope I don't lose internet. Oh, nice. But this here is The View. That's Behind cool. me is water. And I'm going to see if I can take you close, close, close so you can see. And there's Absolutely water. Beautiful. That there that is, a there is the Caribbean Sea. And on the left side of me is the Atlantic. Amazing stuff. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got to go back in. Got to go back in. Got to go back in. <laughs> it froze. It froze. It froze. <laughs> it froze. I'm back. I'm back. It froze. It froze. Thank I know. You for that. Thank you for that. That's eye candy. Woo! Eye candy. Eye candy. I'm telling you. Beautiful country. Beautiful world. Um, yeah. So keep on going to my YouTube channel. 
something better today, please share and like and subscribe for me, please. I beg you. I'm begging you. And um, so as I go island hopping, I went to Ilu Andrews two weeks ago, and I'm trying to get an R and I to go to one of the other ones. There are five five islands. If you oh, want yeah? to move to the Bahamas, there are five islands that they say you should go to. Nassau, oh. Eleuthera, nice. Abaco, Exuma, and Freeport. So I've been to all of them, but now it's time to revisit and add them to our blog and add them to our travel. Um, so we can show people how to eat vegan, how to live a simple and prosperous life here on the islands. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. I love it. Love it, Marlene. I love it too. <laughs> Back home tomorrow. Back home tomorrow. That's okay. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. I, yeah. I, I, I'll, I'll get over it. <laughs> I, I'll get over you'll, it. You'll yeah. revisit. You'll revisit. Yeah, I'll come back another time. God yeah. spare life. Amen. We'll come back another time and spend some more time here. Um, in the meantime, I do have a sister friend. Her name is Avis, and she has a um, once a year retreat for cancer, a cancer retreat. Um, and so, if you'd like to be a part of that cancer retreat, it's coming up in October, and I will be back for that. Um, so if you want to come, contact me, and I will give you more information. I wish I knew her website. If yeah. the girls would bring my phone, I could give you the website. I can't remember. But okay. it's here yeah. in um, Eleuthera. It happens once per year, just once There's per year. There's a lot year. of activities going on in Eleuthera. I like that. There's a lot of stuff. Eleuthera is booming. Yeah. Eleuthera is – the tourists here are – we went to a restaurant. I'm going to show you guys. I think I did a little video. We were the only probably natives. I'm telling you, I've never seen so many people here on one little island. It's booming. You have yeah. second home owners here. You have around me right here in my neighborhood where we are staying, we have Americans who moved here and never left to go back. On Russell Island, we met yesterday a Jewish lady who her and her husband came and visited here, never left. <laughs> they come, I'm telling you, there's something here. I the wish I, could I just saw the view. You can tell that it looks so peaceful. There's God is. I I told someone this morning. We have a um, a follower. What's his name? I'm gonna get his name right now. I'm gonna shout him out. He mm -hmm. said, "Where are you this morning, Darren Ferguson?" He said, "Good morning, my Miss Marlene. How are you doing?" I said, "I'm fine." I said, "I'm in Eleuthera." He said, "That's nice." He says, "It's beautiful there." I said, "God kissed it. God mm -hmm. kissed it. It's a beautiful, beautiful island. I love it so much." It's not my home. My um, my home is Nassau. My parents are from Andros and Ragged Island, but I don't like none. It's too Ragged Island's too far, and Andros, no, no, no. <laughs> unless God calls me there. Yeah, unless God calls me there. But this is beautiful. So I'm going to take you guys to church with me this morning. I'll do a little short nice. live video, um, how to worship on the island. I'm an Adventist, so I'll do a live as I get to church, and then I'll have her go live when I do the health nugget, and maybe as Warren preaches also this morning because. Uh, Tanya Young's uh, brother-in-law, Warren Ferguson, he will be, I think he's bringing a message this morning. Um, oh, yes. Yeah, so we're having a good time, a great Thank time here. Thank you so much for opening up your vacation for us. We love it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let us see. Yeah. I, I love you, Lucha, and I'd love to visit one day. You're coming. You got to come. Let's if do you it, Brother Devin, if you're listening, let's go. <laughs> Pack those suitcases. Miss Angela promises that she's going to come down here when she comes. She's getting her passport so to come now. Her yes. and brother Pulley. Pulley, Pulley. They're going to be down here, and I'm going to bring them over to Eleuthera while I'm here, and we'll probably get to stay right here where we are. I don't yeah. want them to stay in the in the city. I want them to get a taste of yeah. what my country living will be like when I yeah. move out here to the island. Yeah. This is our country living. <laughs> more and more, we know that we got to get to the country. We got to get out of the cities because things are going yeah. to get really bad. And... um. You know, so crazy. It's gonna crazy be crazy. As, as it's crazy and crazier. <laughs> well, yeah. let me go now and make some breakfast. Michelle, wrap it up on juicing. I really ran on enough. <laughs> Let's start I'm gonna, juicing. I'm gonna start eating breakfast. <laughs> yes. Just start juicing and include it in your diet. And thank you so much for staying with us. We still have a lot of people on, and thank yes, you for your questions. We appreciate them. And see you on Monday. Yes. Uh, follow Marlene all weekend until she gets yes. back home and all her fingers. Why is that? That's not fair. 
I, I'm going to bring one for Harris. Miss Harris, I'm going to bring one for you. I'm going to find a green one. Ooh, here's what. We also got some of these at Howdy Mao. Howdy Mao Farms. We're going to upload that, hopefully, uh, between now and church time. Yeah, we went to Howdy Mao. Howdy so Mao Farm. I love and, it. Yeah. So she can probably ship us some to Nassau. That's what I was going to say. She can probably send stuff from her farm. She's a beautiful farm. Beautiful farm. Nice. Yeah. All right. Be sure to join us on Monday for inspiration. On Monday, we have an amazing guest for, and the program is going to be amazing. So yeah. please join us at 6 p.m. on Monday for inspiration on Monday and on Tuesday for the cooking segment of Lifestyle 360. We will be actually making juices. Am I right, Marlene? Showing mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. That'd be great to show you yeah, how to yeah. and so please be sure and don't forget to follow Marlene on YouTube <laughs> so you can follow her journey while she travels to the different islands. Yeah, so, please do that. Yeah. Yes, and check out both our websites. Marlene is something better today.com and mine is healthiersteps.com. And thank you guys. We love you and see you on our next live well at marlene's next live yeah my next live will be in a few moments <laughs> yeah happy sabbath happy sabbath happy sabbath enjoy the day of rest enjoy. and gladness um and thank you so much for your support thank, thank you so you. much for your love thank good morning you. to our director health director for the south bahamas conference Ms. nathalie lacroix happy sabbath thank you for joining us this morning even if it was just for a moment i know you're a busy lady we thank you so much for joining and um, please do all you can to share this live. It may sh yes. In sharing the live, you may save lives. Yes. And not only save lives for now, but you may save them for eternity. eternity. Amen. Amen. Looking Amen. forward, looking forward. It's, it's, good. Long, it's been a long time since they had sugar apple, I think. <laughs> oh man, listen here, listen, listen. <laughs> Let, look here, look at this plateful. <laughs> Mm. Howdy Mao, between Howdy Mao and the farm that we found on Russell Island yesterday, that's where we got these. And nice. it's so good. That's why God put, he had to put seeds in this. If mm. he didn't, it would, we would kill ourselves. That's <laughs> <cool>. <laughs> he had to slow us down. It's well, almost like the nuts, you know? Even the nuts, I was he like... put the nuts in the shell, he said, because if you don't put those nuts in the shell, they can eat all. They can kill themselves. So true. he had true. to put seeds in them to slow us down. And, yeah. and I appreciate that. That's the good God that we serve. So bye, guys. I got to go and eat because Gail's going to come and get me and I'm not going to be ready. All right. Baby. Happy Sabbath. Love you all. Lots of kisses and hugs from the beautiful pineapple country, Ilustra. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>